welcome to ITMAR 2015, day three. It's pretty misty here in Milan, but what is clear is that it's going to be another busy show day. The non-wovens industry is a niche but major part of the textiles sector and occupies metres of space at ITMAR in Hall 3. Non-wovens are very close to the textile process, although also to the paper making process, it's of course something in between. But there are lots of textile customers who are approaching the non-woven markets because uh, non-wovens, there are always new products coming up, rising, and it, it's a very active dynamic market and therefore um, there are also a lot of customers here who, um, who will come into this market. Fellow non-wovens business Dilo has exhibited at ITMAR for almost 60 years. For ITMAR 2015, the company displays a machine which it said is a breakthrough in cross-lapping technique. Where we achieve a high throughput rate by up to 200 meters per minute web entry speed. To give you an, an indication in the, in the industry, normally 130 meters per minute are not exceeded. Very rarely, maybe 150 meters per minute, but this one runs up to 200 meters per minute. Yeah. On days one and two of ITMAR, we saw innovation in digital textile printing machines and the digital ink market has also seen new entries. A lot of our integrators were frustrated with the current supplies that were out there. So we took a little bit different approach to creating an ink. So we started based upon the color space we wanted to achieve and then worked towards that goal rather than going the other way around and starting with pigments and pigment dispersions and then seeing what type of an ink we could create out of that. So we just took a little bit different approach in creating the ink. So because of that, what makes the inks different is they're very brilliant. They're very, very bright. Their blacks are very, very deep and the colors are very, very rich. And they resemble traditional inks and traditional pigment inks, which is really the markets that we're trying to go after and the markets that we're really trying to attract over to the digital printing space. A lot of times when you got the brilliance of color, then a lot of ha times what happened is, is your crock fastness your wash fastness, your wet and dry crocs, they suffered if you got really, really good colors. This is the first ink that was created for this particular digital ink space that not only has vibrant colors, but also has incredibly good dry croc, as well as wash fastness, as well as wet croc and light fastness. And these inks are currently available on all of the Epson head platforms. So any printer that currently has an Epson head you can put these ink into, as well as we just currently launched at ITMA the Kyocera version of the ink. Also in this area, Arcroma has launched its Inkpresso inks for more sustainable printing. We did not want to invest in a development which would not have the benefits to the environment, to our approach of sustainability. So we said it has to be a step change. And we have also then considered already the way we would do the system. It should also lead to a potential saving of transport costs, of handling, which are great benefit, benefits for the environment. Then. We have developed a full range of reactive dyes for this application, and we are currently developing dispersed dyes. For easier access to all the ITMAR news and insight, download the WTIN app, helping you make informed business decisions.